Hi there, this is Derp Knight. I've played Nautilus for over four years now, and the weapon got buffed recently. I have just one question. WHY?! Why would Nintendo do such a thing? Look at all the weapons that so desperately needed buffs, like the Splattershot Pro, L3 and H3 nozzle loads, and literally every single umbrella in existence. And yet, my main weapon, you know, the one that is considered by pro players to be high on top tier, is the one that gets better? WHY?! This weapon does so much right, it's actually insane. What weapon has the damage per second of your average Splatlink, the range of a Splattershot Pro, the mobility of your average close range shooter, decent at worst paint and special output, a direct counter to Ninja Squid Con, all while having amazing matchups against top two weapons like Splash and strutting HP specials like Booyah Bomb. Nintendo must have wanted the Nautilus to be the be-all, end-all splash counter, because now with the buff that it got, it shreds crab tech even more thanks to its better firing duration. Originally, the total firing duration of the Nautilus was 104 frames, in Splatoon 2 and Splatoon 3. Now, if we take this number and increase it by 15%, we get 119.6 total firing frames. That's roughly the same as one main of MPU in Splatoon 2 and even more than three subs of it. And all of this is for free in Splatoon 3. No MPU is required here. This means you can just shoot at people for almost two full seconds with the Nautilus. You know, the weapon that does amazing object damage and just damage in general already, for free. This will make it a better counter to crab, pop out and shoot for longer, increase its pain and bursts, which in turn slightly increases its special output, which is already pretty good, and much more. If it sounds like I'm going crazy over a percentage change that is ultimately good for my favorite weapon in the game, then you're very right. I don't know why Nintendo did what they did to this amazing weapon, and I don't know why it deserved it. We take those. My actual, not over-exaggerated thoughts on the buff. This is a good change. Not only will it make my favorite weapon better and more viable, increasing the weapon diversity, but it also adds counters to HP specials which are quite dominant in the meta right now. Not to mention Splash loses to Nautilus in a 1v1 fight, so it'll counter the best weapon of the game better too. But I still have some guilt and questions brewing in the deep dark trench that I call my brain. Overall, this could help balance the meta, even just by a tiny amount. The rant at the start was mainly a way for me to throw numbers on screen in an entertaining way. That section was mainly a joke, but yes those figures and numbers were actually correct. It's nice to see Nintendo slowly whittle down Ninja Squid and Crab Tech. While Splash hasn't been nerfed to the ground yet, I think that Nautilus will play a key role in trying to combat Splash players. And with the nerfs and Ninja Squid also coming with a buff, the point sensor that it has is still just as useful, if not more useful. While the patch isn't perfect by any means, this is definitely a step in the right direction, and especially for us Nautilus players, this is actually a pretty amazing patch. Shooter bias and weapon diversity are still problems, and I think that needs to be addressed as soon as possible. Thanks for watching! If you enjoyed the video, I have some other funny Splatoon 3 videos released and planned. Maybe consider dropping a like or leaving a comment to tell me what you think of the patch. I don't really mind though, it's up to you. Thanks again everyone, and I'll see you all in the next video. Take care, have a good one, have a good day.